Wayland is on the way, and it is moving quickly towards the Wayland world. Uh, one big concern about this transition from X11 to Wayland is that rewriting a desktop to support Wayland is kind of hard. In some cases, some teams are not even interested in trying. This means we may need to keep X11 around just to support legacy desktops or window managers. Or does it? Well, that's where Wayback comes in. Wayback, we actually covered way back a couple weeks ago on Twill 318, if, but if you missed it, we'll cover, let's do a, a quick overview. So Wayback is an X11 compatibility layer that allows for running full X11 only desktop environments using Wayland. It essentially is an X11 server backed by Wayland, leveraging WL roots and X Wayland. The goal for this is for Wayback to eventually be a completely drop-in replacement to the Xorg binary, thus reducing maintenance burden for distro maintainers. Now this is great news as some older desktop environments now have a chance to survive with the transition to Wayland. A Wayback has had its first release also with Wayback 0.1. This is considered a preview release, although some users and developers are already daily driving it because uh, they like to live on the edge. <laughs> it is still considered alpha quality and doesn't yet uh, support multi-monitor setups, uh, display power management signaling, and other Xorg features. Wayback also moved from being a side project from Kanini, I think that's how you say it, uh, to now being a free desktop supported project on the free desktop repo. Additionally, they have split a lot of components into their own repos, including Wayback Compositor, which is the actual Wayland compositor, X Wayback, which provides an XOR compatible command line interface, Wayback Session, providing a start X compatible interface until they are able to make use of the stock X in it and other things. They also now have a new logo, which is actually kind of clever because they took the X11 logo and replaced the X with a W. And finally, now there is a new website for Wayback for anyone who wants to learn more about it. And I think it's insane how much progress this project has made considering when this just came out as a single C file a couple, a few weeks ago, like three weeks ago, something like that. It's kind of crazy how far it's gone in just this small amount of time. So I'm looking forward to the development of this project, and I think this is going to be making a lot of people happy going forward. 